Hi, welcome to Flyer Die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Chris Velasco. Today we're looking at the Nexus 5, Google's new flagship phone. This is Flyer Die. So, Nexus 5, uh, convince me. Okay, well, it is a top tier smartphone. It has a uh, top tier. Is that top a new tier. Word? Is that a new thing? It's top hyphen tier. That's the top thing. Top tier. Okay. That's the thing. It's a flagship. It's a flagship. You can call it a flagship. flagship. You can call it top tier. Whatever you want. So it's got a 2.26 gigahertz quad core uh, Snapdragon 800 chipset in there, plus two gigs of RAM, which means it's incredibly fast. You've also got a five inch 1080p display, which means it looks really, really good. 349. 349. KitKat, which is the brand new version of Android. Yes. Uh, a lot of minor improvements, nothing I would say super huge. Uh, one of the biggest is that you've got Google now sort of living just a swipe away. So you're always able to jump into Google's sort of predictive uh, information service, which is cool and creepy at the same time. So as an Android nerd, you, you love this thing? I do love this thing for, for a lot of reasons. I mean, it is a, it's a really well spec machine. And you're running with, obviously, KitKat. And you're promising yourself, by going for Next, that you're getting the latest and greatest updates as soon as they hit. And this is also unlocked? It is unlocked. So there are, I believe, uh, there's a US model, which we've got here. There's an international model to play better with some of the, uh, the kind of fringe carriers out there. But 349 for a really, really great device is, is something Google hasn't done before. It's really cool to see. So I've historically really enjoyed the Nexus devices. The Nexus devices have been sort of like the best of breed Google devices. Mm -hmm. So best of breed for Android. Uh, the Nexus tablets have been great. I've had those floating around. I'm interested in it. I'm just not excited about it. It's. It seems like if I if I wanted a phone for 349 unlocked and I had my own SIM card, mm -hmm. I would go for it in a second. Simply because in terms of for travel or for whatever else. I don't know if that would be my, this would be my daily carry though. Really? I, I completely disagree. I mean, just the fact that you've got a device that sort of speaks to Google's bleeding edge. This is what Google's sort of platonic vision of an Android device is going to be. I also see these things as sort of like a, a a bear hug that Google does to LG, that Google does to L, uh, Asus, uh, that Google does to Motorola, and it basically says you got to make the best best phone ever, and then they're going to sell it at a loss in the grand scheme of things uh, to basically get KitKat out and onto the streets to the early adopters. So this was done by LG. Mm -hmm. Asus makes the tablets. Uh, Motorola did a few of these things, and they've all worked together hand in hand to make the best at Android, which to I think in some way that's sort of a detriment to the other manufacturers and the other, other phones because this guy's going to get all the updates first. Right. So. Well, and the thing you've got to uh, kind of keep in mind is that this does get the updates first, but the Nexus line has never really been like a huge consumer brand, no, right? No, it hasn't. So like with the Nexus 7, you've started to see Google kind of go in that direction. And with cheap devices like the Nexus 5, you're starting to see them go that way with mobile stuff as well. But right. like, you know, these aren't like amazingly hot sellers for most people. If I needed a unlocked phone, I would go for this one. This is, that's hands down. I'm going to give it a die just as a daily carry. I wouldn't carry it. I'm just not, I'm just not into it. I think a lot of what Google has done with the Nexus 5 is, is great, but a lot of it's sort of incremental as well. I, I give it a fly because I think it's going to be a great device for a lot of people looking for just an everyday device. I disagree with you there, but ends the brakes. All right, so there you have it. We have one fly, uh, and from Grandpa Grumpus, we have one die. Uh, this has been the Nexus 5 from Google. I'm John Biggs. I'm Chris Velasco. And this is Flyer Die. Thanks for watching.